everyone, this is Debbie from Southern Delight. So glad that you tuned in this morning. Well, this morning we are going to be doing breakfast. And I am going to make a spinach and ham quiche that you will be able to take and store for probably up to about five days in the refrigerator. And if you don't want to eat quiche every day, well, you can mix this breakfast up because I'm going to show you how to take this little mini quiche and turn it into a breakfast on the go. The ingredients that you will need for this quiche is you'll need four large eggs, um, a half a cup of um, mild cheddar cheese, I've got a fourth a cup of uh, Valdea onions, I have one baked potato that I have cut up and seasoned with this garlic salt, and then I put butter on top of it. I just used a um, yellow potato and then I popped it in the microwave for about three minutes and then chopped it up and um, in a little bite-sized pieces. Then I've added some chopped ham. I have about a fourth a cup of chopped ham and then you will need about a tablespoonful of milk. You will need a third cup of frozen spinach. You can use more or less of the spinach. Um, that's just what my family prefers. They don't want to overpower it with that spinach flavor. And um, I have an eight by eight casserole dish here and um, I have already went and sprayed it with some non-stick cooking spray and um, we're going to start layering this. And you don't have to thaw the spinach out, just put it in there frozen. Okay, and we're going to add the potatoes to this mixture. And remember, I added about a tablespoon of melted salted butter. This is the only butter I'm using in the recipe. And um, I went ahead and added some garlic salt to the potatoes for my seasoning. And I sprinkled that on top. I'm just going to scatter it over it evenly. Then we're going to take our half a cup of cheese. We'll go ahead and start layering with our cheese. And you don't necessarily have to use mild cheddar. I prefer the mild flavor over the sharp. I know some recipes have a lot of sharp cheese because like I said, um, just tweak this recipe to what you like. This just makes it really quick and easy. I've seen this recipe where they use um, potatoes and they grate them down into to the hash browns and then they pre-cook the hash browns and then they pre-cook the um, onions and all that. But this just makes it really kind of simple. I love simplicity. I am all about um, 30 minute meals or less <laughs> and quick and easy um, recipes. Okay, once you got that in there, and then I took the eggs and um, I blended those and added a tablespoonful of milk and then we're just gonna pour our egg mixture in this. And it does make it, you know, real fluffy and all. And don't worry, I mean, it looks as if I don't have enough mixture but trust me, you do, because you don't want it too runny. I, and our eggs, I have mixed them up enough that they're foaming. They're, um, that just makes, that just lets you know that they're gonna be fluffy. And that cheese will just melt right into it. And then you'll wanna stick it in your oven. I am saying, 400 degrees for about 15 minutes. Um, I have a very old stove. I think it's like 1980s. And um, if I get, <laughs> if I can reach 100 subscribers, I can go buy myself a new stove. Um, that's the uh, challenge that I've given myself. So, um, but we've got a very humble kitchen here. But like I said, the only, only setting my stove or my oven works on is brawl. So I have to cook fast and high heat for shorter amount of times. So I'm telling y'all, put it in the oven for um, probably about 15 minutes, but watch your settings. I mean, uh, some people, 375, they like, if you like to cook at um, slower heat for longer times, 
but if you do use higher heats just remember shorten those times and um, in my case it is a have to until I get my new oven so um, we'll go ahead and pop this in there okay she is ready to come out of the oven and um, just to test it take a, a quick knife or a fork or something and stick in there and if it comes out clean then you know she's done and uh, all right, she's ready to go. We're going to let it cool. Okay, and I'm taking my little cutter here and making the little round servings. And this will make probably about seven servings. You'll have, if you do it right, let's see, I cut that one a little short. You'll have five circles, and then you'll have some little square pieces. So it's probably about seven helpings. And once you cut them out, this is what it looks like. Oh, they are so pretty. And I'm telling you, they are just as delicious. But we're not finished, so continue watching because I'm going to show you how to make this into a quick and easy breakfast in a cup for those people who need breakfast on the go. And I wrap it in some saran wrap, um, like this right here. You can take and you can store them in the freezer, and they keep quite well. And then, like I said, just pop them in the microwave and for probably about 30 seconds or so and then you can reheat them or put them in the refrigerator and uh, here's the little trick that I want to show you for breakfast in a cup. I found these um, little storage containers in the Dollar Tree and you can find them at most any dollar stores or at Walmart and what I like to do and this there is a reason for my madness why I cut these little quiches out in those little round circles. This fits perfectly in the top of this. And then if you want breakfast on the go, take you a bag of instant grits. And that fits perfectly in the bottle. There you go. An instant breakfast in the cup. So all you need to do once you get to work is just take a half a cup of water, add it to your grits, heat that up for 30 seconds in the microwave, combine the two, and there you have it. And you can add other toppings to it. I think one of them I added bacon to, um, extra cheese, or add just some more butter to it. But it makes a really wonderful breakfast meal. And don't forget, guys, I need you to subscribe because if I reach 100 subscribers, I get a new oven. So I want to see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.